I am the official spokesperson of the Democratic Party in Libya. On behalf of the Libyan people, I would like to thank the British people and Her Majesty's government for helping us getting rid of the brutal dictator Gaddafi. It was the getting rid of Gaddafi was nothing short of a miracle. We'll always be grateful to Britain. I believe that the Conservative Party, which helped us in this respect, stands for freedom and human rights throughout the world. Unlike Labour Party, which supports dictatorships in North Africa, in the Middle East, and in Central Asia. For example, Mr. Tony Blair and Mr. Peter Mendelssohn used to be on the payroll of Gaddafi. They are still on the payroll of dictators in the Middle East and Central Asia. We need to make a very clear distinction between the Conservatives and the, and the, and the Labour Party. We believe that the Conservative Party will go on to help the Arab Spring and support the revolution throughout the Middle East. Thank you. I was waiting for you pulling off a mask and revealing yourself as a comedian. Uh, I, I, I really cannot believe that you just said the words that you said. The idea that the Conservative Party supports the Arab Spring against dictatorships is so wrong I don't know whether to laugh or cry. And you obviously haven't been in Libya for a long time. You can't have been. Otherwise, you would not dream of coming on international television and discussing Libya as if it were some kind of success. Gaddafi was everything you said he was. And it takes real genius to make Libya worse than it was under Gaddafi. And that's what's been achieved by your friends in the Conservative Party and NATO and their allies, no doubt, in exile in London and elsewhere. Libya no longer exists. Libya is five Libyas, ten Libyas, twenty Libyas, a hundred Libyas, all massacring each other. The country is sailing in blood Hundreds of thousands of refugees are jumping on boats to try and escape and drowning in the Mediterranean. Your country was bombed day and night by NATO. And now, Sirt, which was bombed by the Americans when Gaddafi was in, is a self-declared part of the ISIS caliphate. Some success story. ISIS, Al-Qaeda, one brigand group after another taking control of the airport, of the parliament, chasing out the government. How many prime ministers have you got? How many foreign ministers? It's an absolute catastrophe, Libya. And you come here in your nice suit, safe here in London, and hail it all as some kind of triumph and you have the goal to salute the Conservative Party. Well, if the Conservative Party do to Britain what they did to Libya, then God help us. God help us. Because they destroyed your country, which no longer exists. And you, presumably, on some kind of payroll, come here and take your hat off to it. Be gone. Who's next? May I, may I respond to that? Yes, please? you can. I am on the, ray, uh, the payroll of nobody, unlike you, who used to be on the payroll of Saddam. No, no, I've never been on Saddam's payroll, and I don't believe you're not on a payroll. You look very prosperous. How do you earn your living? How do you earn your living? Certainly not from Saddam or Gaddafi. No, I, I never met Gaddafi, and I was never on a payroll of Saddam. And by the way, those who claimed that I was, had to pay me millions of pounds in damages. So be very careful what you say. Do sue me you then. You are on a payroll. How are you earning your living? Who is paying you? The British. 
social security. Well, you're doing very well on British social security. That's truly remarkable. In fact, I think I'll call the police because you must be a benefits cheat. Because you can't possibly have the lifestyle you live on British social security. What lifestyle, leave that what aside. Life, what lifestyle is that? Leave that aside. I don't know if you've just checked out for the afternoon from some kind of psychiatric unit. But if you are coming here on international television to claim that what's happened in Libya is a success, then you must be insane. If you're not on a payroll, you can only be saying this because you are unwell. Your country has ceased to exist. And you want to thank David Cameron for it?